Ned will be off soon, Mr. Neville. Sailing away with his lady love to a life of freedom and adventures. Look at him lounging there like a lord. The world is all before him, where to choose. Isn't that right, Mr. Neville? Whereas we, lesser mortals... To Ned, my dearest fellow. <laughs> Lord Jack, this is strong stuff for our new friend. I can take it. And now toast to Mr. Neville, newly arrived from far-flung... Ceylon. Off the south coast of India. Good Lord, Mr. Neville, every schoolboy knows that. Jack, you're quite right. I understand you're orphans. My mother died when we were 12 years old. I am a damn fortunate fellow. I'm very sorry to hear that, Mr. Neville. And your father? And Rosie's a damn lucky girl if she did but know it. Too damn good for the likes of you. Now, do speak up, sir. You might be worth more, Mr. Drood, if you had known hardship like other people. I find I tire very easily of the wisdom of the East. Hospitality, man. You talk as if you were some kind of rare and precious prize instead of what you are, which is a common boaster. You may know a black common boaster when you see him, but you are no judge of white men. The devil for shame! Nancy, I beg your command! Back away! Mr. Neville! I will have your weapon. Open your hand, sir. 